Hello everybody, this is Charles Anderson. I'm just a guy from Goodwill with a really great game idea, and this is only an update. It is doo -doo 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 -doo, September 15th, 2013, and today I'm going over a ridiculous situation that I came up with while creating, uh, I, I guess, a part of the model, which will be fa factored into uh, my blender to xna project, which I've already uh, put as a separate class in there. But anyway, right now I'm working on... Uh, this is just a refresher back to basics for C Sharp and working with character arrays. Now, the whole thing is, is that it boils down to uh, a character is a letter, an array is something that can be worked with one element at a time because that's its scope. And strings are kind of a shortcut to handle characters as an array of variable size. So if you try to mix strings and, and character arrays that though they are the same thing in the memory block the way that the compiler handles them is different. So I'm only reminding people hey one is one. Uh, like here this this statement right here temp is a new character of eight uh, spots and yes I could do the code because this is invalid this is trying to assign all eight at once. No, that's not what an array is for. An array is for assigning one letter at a time. Right. This is what I would have to do if I went with an array of characters. I would have to assign it as an array, uh, one element at a time. So I went on and, uh, you know, it's like, oh, well, let's see how strings work. And, of course, there's a lot of, of string to... Uh, or cannot convert from character array to string because they're handled differently by the compiler. Uh, I can handle character arrays with character arrays. Uh, I can handle strings with strings. Uh, the only thing is, is that uh, you can go from character to string, but you have to individually handle one character at a time if you're going to convert from a string to a character, and you can't do this right here. All right. So, for that little, hey, one is one type moment in working with arrays and working with classes or structures, uh, where at one end it's of a known size, and then you try to go with a structure that is of unknown size, just keep in mind, there will be problems, and don't worry, this is perfectly natural. All right, so that's my update and thought for the day. I'm Charles Anderson, and I have totally got this stop button now.